In this video, we're talking flat-sided square bill crankbaits. I'm gonna show you guys how I fish them, where I fish them, what I use to throw them, and we're gonna catch a bunch of fish while we do it. Let's get into it. <laughs> Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. I hope y'all had a good holiday, a good new year, and I can't think of a better way to rain in the new year than with some crankbait fishing and by coloring another bar on the subscriber board. That's right. Thank you guys so much for 21,000 here on YouTube. 21,000 subscribers for 2021. Awesome, much love. Today we're going to head out and we're gonna do some square bill crankbait fishing, but not just any square bill. We're gonna be using a flat sided square bill, specifically the Crush Flat 75X from Sixth Sense Fishing. Flat sided square bill is one of my favorite crankbaits to throw in the winter time. I'm gonna break it down for you and show you guys exactly how I like to utilize this bait, how I fish it, what gear I use to throw it, the kind of spots I look for, the conditions I like to throw it in, and we're gonna catch a bunch of fish while we do it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. A couple things I wanna mention before we rip off onto the water. I wanna let you guys know that may not have already heard that we're doing a giveaway. Anyone who purchases a piece of merchandise from theheaterzone.com, such as one of these awesome hoodies that I'm wearing right here, or a t-shirt, is gonna be automatically entered in to win an awesome power pack giveaway, chock full of heaters only. I'll throw a picture up on the screen right here of everything that's contained within the giveaway. But wait, there's more, that's right. I'm going to be slowly adding to this pile as the month goes on. I got a couple secret things in mind that I'm gonna be adding to the stash just to sweeten the pot a little bit. A direct link to the website where you can score your very own piece of heater merch and get entered in to win this giveaway will be at the very top of the video description. Don't sleep, get in where you fit in, secure the heaters, and get entered to win. Very top of the description, that's theheaterzone.com. Anyone who places an order automatically entered will pick the winner at the end of January. Thank you guys once again for all of your awesome support. It means the world to me. Also, if this is your first time watching and you have fun hanging out with me out there on the water today, please consider subscribing to the channel. Help us continue to color in the bar 21,000 and beyond for 2021. I put out new fishing videos all the time and I would love to have you guys riding along with what we got going on over here but as mentioned the name of the game today is square bill cranking the conditions on the water in this one 45 degrees 15 plus mile per hour winds gripping and ripping cranking and yanking it's gonna be a lot of fun let's get into it Boom. This is an aggressive fish right here. He's been caught before. First one on the day on the Jank Juice Crush Flat 75X Square Bill. Pretty stoked on that. It didn't take long either. Right here on, on the first spot. As you can see, he's got a hole on that side of him. And he's got a hole over here for me now. Nice. Not a bad fish either. That's the way to start the day. Love that color, man. I think that's my first fish ever on the Jane Juice right there. So, shout out to Backs of the Bait Man. It's killer color that him and the Six collaborated to create. Got that one eaten for us. Let's keep going, see if we can get some more. Later, dude. So I fished from that point down there to right here before I cracked one. Wasn't long. Stoked on that. Water temps, 58 degrees. We got a 10 to 15 mile per hour wind out of the north. And uh, it's, just, it's just beating water up onto this wall right here. So I figured there might be some fish pushed up onto it. So that's what I decided to start with. I started out cranking with a square bill and cracked me one, so I'm gonna keep rolling with it. You guys know I love fishing a square bill crankbait, so hopefully he's got friends. Hungry, fat friends, let's go. Yeah, that fish has been caught before, man. He had a he had a battle wound on him. I ain't mad at it for the boys. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope y'all had a good uh, Christmas, a good New Year, good holidays. Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all that good stuff. We're back out here on the water. It's 2021 official, like a referee with a whistle, and we're cracking them on the jank juice. Speaking of New Year's, I did the uh, I did the 2020 year in review video. Every big fish catch here on the channel from the entire year. I think you guys will really enjoy that video. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. It dropped on uh, New Year's Eve night, so not a lot of people saw it yet. Everybody hanging out with the friends and family, doing the, the party thing, raining in the new year. But man, don't sleep on that video. So many epic fish catches while I was editing it. Made me realize, you know how blessed how blessed i am how blessed i was throughout the entire year 2020 wasn't all bad and uh that video right there will make you forget about all the uh all the rough times that we had in 2020 if you want to see some epic fish catching footage 
go check it out man 2020 year in review stoked man stoked on that vid stoked on how it turned out super fun fishing edit non-stop fish catches no talking no bs so for those of you guys that don't like to talking that one's for you man it's all action don't sleep on it man it's one of the most fun videos i've made in a while but let's keep cranking hopefully keep cranking and yanking see if we can stack up a few more on the square bill there's one that's like a nice fish oh, he's fired up he's fired up boat flip it's a little bit nicer fish yeah that's a little nicer fish Not bad at all right there, dudes. All right. We were able to improve a little bit with that one. Not bad. Nice, healthy. Winter time. Crankbait eater. Later, dude. Down he goes. Let's keep grinding. That's what I'm talking about, old son. Jane Juice getting it done out here. Such a sick color, dude. If you guys don't have any of this color, I would suggest going and buying every bait that they offer in this pattern because it's a killer dude it's just such a unique bait looks really good in my water especially right now it's got a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of dirt going on water looking a little hazy from all the wind commotion kicking everything up that light chartreuse with that super light gray lavender red eyes white belly that crushed flat 75x it's a killer shout outs to the bait man let's go let's find us some more a little cooler water has him chasing Woo! Tell you guys about the setup that I'm throwing this square bill on. This is the Lux Series Movement Square Bill Rod. It's a 7.4, medium, heavy, fast action. And this is the rod that uh, Six Sense designed to throw these square bill crankbaits with, and it works perfectly. This is my new Crush 50 75X rod right here. I used to throw them on a little bit lighter setup, but ever since I started using this 7.4 medium, heavy, fast, I've really fallen in love with it. As you can see, I'm just super accurate with it. Can really send the bait out there a little bit further than with some of the shorter, lighter rods. Loads up great. Got it paired up with the Shimano Corrado K. And we're cranking and yanking, let's go. Man, now that I'm seeing this jaint juice in the water a lot, I feel like this color is like the perfect balance between like vibrant and aggressive and like super just regular natural pattern like it's the perfect balance it's got that flash to it but it also looks natural and uh yeah it just looks killer in the water i can see why these fish are cracking off on it already hopefully we can get a few more on this thing man i love throwing the square bills let's go let's keep banging these rocks for those of you guys uh wondering about the specifics the air temperature outside here today in texas is about 45 degrees like i mentioned earlier 10 to 14 mile per hour winds out of the north water temp 58 degrees 58 degree waters in January. Welcome to Texas. I could feel it. I could feel it coming. I could feel it. I knew there was one over there, man. Another nice one. The boat flip boogie. That's another nice one on the Jane Juice. Not a bad fish. They're getting a little healthier. Getting fat from the summer. It's cold, it's getting cool now. They're starting to feed up. I love busting them on crankbait, man. It's too much fun. That's that Crush Flat 75X goodness right there. Yee! All right. Number three. Three piece in a biscuit. So. I've been fishing for a minute without a bite, no fish. It's been pretty much a straight drop off. What I was noticing here was this little transition where it rolled up into a little like mini flat where instead of being a straight drop off, it was kind of a, a taper into the deeper water. Cast it right up there on top of that taper, boom. I could feel it coming. I could feel it coming. Smack that fish as soon as we hit this spot. So trying to make note of that. Not much luck on the straight drop offs, but anytime there's a little taper, a little gradual drop into some deeper water that's where those fish have been sitting always try to pay attention to every little detail when you catch a fish and try to figure out you know what those fish are preferring that'll help you put more in the boat you can start eliminating dead water that way 
I know a lot of people use live scope nowadays, but I still tend to prefer fishing the old fashioned way. I'm trying to work for them, go off of instinct, figure out that puzzle. Let's keep grinding. They are eating today. There we go. Hooked up again. Same thing, man. I could feel it. I knew there was going to be one on that little transition. You see that point sticking out right there? All right. Another fighter. He inhaled it. This one inhaled it. Yes. Might be the nicest one on the day right there. It's another chunk. Still going on the square bill. I'm not going to put it down until they stop eating it. I think that might be the nicest one on the day. He freaking inhaled it, dude. Look at that. Right there on that point, another little transition similar to the last one. Cast it right over the top of it, just started burning it. He smoked it. Nicest one on the day. Yes, sir. Awesome. All right, later, buddy. Hey, yeah, don't be afraid to double back and uh, cover these transitions really well. Hit them again, there might be multiple fish there. You guys see me kind of turning around and fishing some of the same spots again just to make sure I didn't miss anybody. That can pay off for you a lot of the time. Fish have been scattered out here lately, but you never know when they might bunch back up. They're sitting on all the right spots though, man. Little points, little, little transitions where uh, the terrain changes just a little bit. I could almost feel the bite coming when I, when I make certain casts. Feels good, man. That's that instinctive fishing I was talking about, man. Just primal. You know, just primal, figuring it out. Get a lock on the pattern, repeat it. it. Feels good, man. Let's keep going. Four is more out here today. Johnny Five needs to come alive in this piece. Oh, son. Yeah, that fish was sitting right here on this point. And I could almost feel it coming. A couple things I've noticed is that they are not hitting it out in open water. They are cracking it right off the bank and they are hitting it on the full burn. I'm doing a lot of, uh, varying in my retrieval speed rod twitches pausing letting the bait stop completely all my bites have came right off the shoreline and on the full turn and burn so they're unleashing the fury chasing it down eating it getting that reaction going hooked up right there on that point another nice one Johnny Five, come alive out here. Both flip boogie, another chunk too. Stoked, man. I love this, dude. I love getting on a good crankbait bite. This is the nicest one of the day, I think, man. Freaking inhaled it. Hooked with both trebles. Unleashed the fury. Same type of spot, little transition. Can't stop, won't stop, man. Johnny Five is alive. All right, we got five in the boat so far. Not bad. Right there on that little rocky transition where it went from straight drop off to big chunk rock sitting on a little point. These fish are tucked up into those rocks. They're coming out and they're ambushing. Just awesome, dude. So one of my favorite ways to fish this crankbait, the Crush Flat 75X, is by throwing, up, throwing it up into the rocks and burning it back out into open water. And I've caught just so many nice fish doing that. I mentioned the uh, the 2020 year in review video earlier. You can see me crack a really nice monstro on the Crush Flat 75X doing this exact same technique right here. Throwing it right off the bank, turning and burning back out into open water on little transitions and points. It just works, man. It's an excellent bait for fishing this type of pattern. I'm glad I tied it on today and I'm glad I came out here and tried to do this because I'm having a lot of fun throwing this thing. Hopefully we can get some more, but I'm stoked on those five. And uh, yeah, Johnny Five is alive, man. Let's keep going, keep grinding. The Crush Flat 75X from Six Sense Fishing is a winner. Love throwing it, love throwing it like this. Check out SixSenseFishing.com. Get in where you fit in, JR10 for the win. Let's do this. There's another little point right here, a little transition. Let's see if we got us a fish sitting there.
There's one. Number six in the mix. They just keep getting chunkier. Keep getting better. Awesome. Freaking inhaled it. It's just awesome, man. Boom. Ba boom, boom. Bust out that Jane Juice shoddy. Catch him like John Gotti. Yee. Awesome, dude. Nice. We've already caught our limit and we would be culling. Still on spot number one, just working this rocky bank. Wind blown, little transition spots. These fish are hammering. The 75X, man. Too much fun. Later, dude. You can see that little, just a small little rocky transition point sticking out into the water. That's where that fish was hanging out. Got a low bridge. Water's getting clearer. I don't know if that'll be a good thing or a bad thing. But I can see the water clarity is improving. I feel like I just got popped on. Oh, there we go. That one hit it out a little bit from the bank. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Feels like a nice fish, dudes. Nope, he's foul hooked a little bit. Got him in the chin. He felt heavy. There's number seven. Cold fish, too. This one's cold. Hey, he's hooked a little funny. So I thought he was a big one. He was coming in sideways, but it's all good. Number seven on the day. Yee. Let's keep grinding. Give me some more of that. Here we go, hooked up again. Number eight, eight is great. Stay on, stay on. This one's trying to get away from me. This one's trying to get away. Still going, smacking and cracking. There's number eight on the Jane Juice. He bit me when I was letting him go. Gotta check the fluoro on that one. You see that little nick in my fluorocarbon right there? You guys see that? Always watch out for stuff like that, man. You gotta retie a lot when you're crankbait fishing. That's part of the game. Big fish would break that in an instant and you'd be out here crying. Or I would be sitting in the floor of the boat just crying, screaming. So let's retie and get back after it so we don't have that happen to us, shall we? Here we go. Another one. Number nine. He's running out to open water. Get up here, buddy. Practically on the same spot, right over there by that same little little patch of cover. A couple little pieces of brush in the right off the shoreline, and these fish are sitting in there. When they do that, you got the crankbait on them. Just drop them. Old son ain't playing. He's smart. He's a smart one. He's trying to hurt me. Look what you've done to yourself. He is stuck. Six cents jugular pliers to the rescue. Number nine. Yee. I'm gonna throw him on the gram real quick. You guys, follow me on Instagram at the Justin Royal. See all these fish catches as they happen. Same day out here on the water, live and direct in full effect over there on the gram. All right, later dude. Sweet, man, you guys having fun? I'm having fun. Hit the thumbs up button for those nine fish that we've already caught here on this same stretch of shoreline on the same bait. Feeling like I got a retie already. The tiny little nick in my fluorocarbon. Yeah, tiny little rough spot. I don't risk it. I'll retie every cast if I have to. I'm not playing around. With busted fluorocarbon, man. I'm not losing a monstro because I was too lazy to retie. No sure, re Bob. Constantly checking the fluoro, constantly retying. It's just part of the game. Yes, it takes away a little bit of time from your fishing. And when the air temps are cold, it's 
a little more difficult to get your knots it's clean but it's worth the extra time and effort in case you hook into that monstro because they'll break you off old son they'll break you on off and that'll be it we're back in the game coach let's go i love cranking with this corrado man i haven't done much cranking with the corrado k but i'm really liking it such a smooth reel this is a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio i didn't mention that earlier but throwing this uh flat 75 on the six to one that last fish was sitting right there on that little piece of cover it's like some debris in the water a little tree some rocks some sticks Let's see if there's one over here on this staircase there he is right there called it number 10 for the win on the staircase right where he was supposed to be he running towards the boat get up here that might be the nicest one on the day that might be the nicest one on the day off the staircase man yeah, that's a chunk sweet dude he's sitting right where he was supposed to be sitting right on the staircase man love it when you can call a shot like that look at that jane juice to the face awesome I love it when they're eating crankbaits like this too, man. It's some of my favorite fishing to do right here. Yeah, he, he was sitting right there on the edge of that staircase that goes down into the water. Little concrete stairs, transitions, little pieces of cover. Cracks me a nice one. Let's go. I could have filled the boxes twice already today. Yee! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. We are as in a tree as we can be, dudes. I don't know if this one's coming back. Jane juice down. We done lost the Jane juice, man. Went into a tree right off the rocks in the heavy wind right here. Wind is hammering. It's probably 15 plus miles per hour. Ended up breaking it off, man. It sucks. It's down there on the bottom of a lake in a tree. And I'm 99.9999999% sure I don't have another one of those bad boys. Oh, that's gonna be it for me, dudes. And that is how I ended the day. Ended up losing my jank juice crank in a tree. Shut it down not too long after that. I hope you guys enjoyed this square bow crankbait video. You guys know I love cranking and yanking. I had a lot of fun out there blasting them in the mouth with the Crush Flat 75X. One of my favorite square bill crankbaits to throw. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me out there on the water. If you enjoyed the content, sub to the channel. Help me color in the bar back there. Don't forget to place your orders on theheaterzone.com and get entered in to win everything you see on the screen right here, as well as some additional prizes that I will be adding to the pile as we go through the month. We'll pick a winner at the end of January. Anyone who has placed an order since Christmas and anyone who places an order from now until the end of this month is going to be automatically entered. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you're interested in scoring yourself some of the same flat-sided square bill crankbaits that you saw me throwing in today's video, hit up Six Sense Fishing, sixcensefishing.com and use my code JR10 at checkout. That's going to save you 10% off of your entire order, the baits, the rods, the gear, everything on the website. There's an airplane. What else is new? If you happen to use my JR10 code, they're going to send you an email with your order confirmation. Take a screenshot of that email. Hop on over to Instagram at the Justin Royal. Send me a DM with that screenshot and I will give you a shout out over on the gram. It's just a way for me to give you guys some public recognition and say thank you for helping us keep the lights on and the cameras rolling over here so that we can continue to provide free fishing content over here on YouTube. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.